Shalom everyone. It is Nisan 3, the third day of Nisan. And this third day corresponds to the third month of the biblical year called Sivan. So today is Rosh Kadesh Sivan. So treat this uh, particular day as if it is the first day of Sivan. Uh, as you know, we've been uh, kind of started a little series here about how to use the various items on our altar. You know, your altar should be your armory. It should be where you go to get some of your spiritual weapons. I mean, you always have the Word in you, and you always have the sword of the Holy Spirit, which is the Word of God. You're always armed. You're never unarmed. But every good soldier makes a visit to the armory from time to time, and that should be your altar. And so we've been sort of displaying what is in our armory the past two days. And we're going to do that uh, for the, these first 12 days of Nisan. We've already gone on the first day. We uh, showed you how to use uh, the holy shofar and incense. Then yesterday we went over the holy menorah. And today we're going to, uh, we're going to go over how to create Kodesh, how to, how to create and use Kodesh Maya, holy water. But before we get started, as always, before we go into battle, and always according to Psalm 81 and 3, because remember, this is Rosh Kadesh Sivan, and we're commanded by the word of God to blow the holy shofar on the new moon, the full moon, and feast days. So we're treating today um, Nisan 3 as if it is Rosh Kadesh Sivan. So we're going to blow the holy shofar before we get started. Yeah. Question by Brother Diodo says, are you Sephardi? Am I Sephardi? <sighs> I am a Levite. Okay, by birth. All right. Um, I don't know if that makes me Sephardic. Who knows? I, I may even have some Ashkenazi roots, if you can believe that. <laughs> okay. But what I would typically uh, tell people is that I'm probably Beta Israel. I had a DNA test performed, oh, almost 10 years ago, and my DNA uh, originates out of, my haplogroup originates out of Ethiopia. So I am Jewish out of Ethiopia. That doesn't, not, that doesn't necessarily make me Sephardic or Ashkenazi. So uh, I would probably just, I would say Beta Israel uh, is my... Um, particular group per se but I am Jewish I'm a I'm a direct descendant of Abraham so you know mm -hmm. and that's what's important I am a Levite all right uh, that's supported by my DNA as well as uh, various uh, prophecies that I had received before I even had a DNA test that made me go and get a DNA test to confirm the prophecies um, Leslie, would you hand me that first shofar? The first one you ever bought me. Yeah. You know, we used two different shofars so far. Go back and look at the, you know, the previous teachings from yesterday and the day before. This is actually the first, the first shofar that I ever had. You can hear that beeping <laughs> Sorry. back there. Uh, just going to have to get through that today. Or do you want to run up there? Want me to run up there and tell him to turn it off mm. real quick? I'll do it real quick. You mind? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll show you all what we have at our altar. This is our war room. Well, my husband's turning off that alarm that's going off. This is our war room. Our altar. <laughs> just until he comes back. We have... The menorah, the monstrance, the leak. And we use power of the crystals from heaven. As the New Jerusalem has crystals. We have those. 
Okay, we got this alarm off. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> okay. While we're waiting for Rabbi Vince to come back, this is our ministry at Tahim Temple and Energy Center. We are located in Aurora, Colorado, and you can reach us at etshayamhealing.com. etshayamhealing.com. And our phone number is 720-744-0453. Coming back in a sec. Okay, here I come. I couldn't figure out how to turn it off, so I hit the snooze button and then I buried it. Okay. <laughs> okay. And closed the door, so hopefully if it goes off again, it won't disturb us. All right. All right. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> I'm talking about okay. yeah. holy water. This is the first shofar. Uh, Sister Leslie got this for me on Father's Day 2006. No, 2005. Oh. And so this, this is it here. And um, the reason why I'm choosing the order, um, I have a total of eight shofars. Four Yemenite and four ram's horn. And I didn't realize it, of course, when I was purchasing these over the years, that they, sh they, sh they, sh they sort of begin with a low note and eventually go to a high note. And that corresponds with your seven chakras. Low notes, the lower chakras, and then the higher notes, such as the crown, and the third eye. So, and I, I find that really interesting that it happened like that because I didn't do that on purpose. I just purchased them. Uh, various people who are, have that ministry of creating shofars picked them for me. Uh, I, I think I only picked, uh, Sister Leslie picked this one. I think I've only actually picked one. The others were uh, just you know, I was, you know, I paid my money and they said, okay, you're going to take this one. You know, they more or less told me, you know, this is the one the Holy Spirit told me to give to you. Okay. So it's interesting that that has happened. So, but to begin, Barukata, Yahweh, Eloheinu, Malek, Ho'olam, Asher, Kitsunu, Bomisphata, Vitzivanu, Al Misfa, Shofa, Vishen Yeshua. Amen. Turua, that was a turua. I like the way it sounds off the gongs. Now we're going to do a chevrin, the breaker, annoying. Scatter your enemies, O oh Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. Go and possess your possessions. Amen. Come the walls on. of Jericho have just come down. Oh. Okay, today we're talking about how to create and use Kodesh Maya, holy water. And we keep this on our altar. And when the people are here, if you're present, you get hit with some water mm -hmm. at some point during the service. Okay? And the way that we... That's one of the ways that we use it. 
I actually sprinkle it on people. I also use it ceremonially uh, by dipping my hands and washing my hands three times and saying the prayer, Baruch Atah, Yahweh, Eloheinu Melech, Ho'olam, Asher, Kitsubu, Bomisata, Vitsivanu, Almetalet, Yadayin, Vishem Yeshua. Amen. Now that's how we generally use it. Sprinkling on my hands. Sometimes I have one of my sons, who of course is also a Levite, would pour the water over my feet three times, okay? Which was a requirement of the Levites and the priests before they would go into the inner court or, or the Holy of Holies. And, you know, that's how we use it. Or, or, or however the Holy Spirit tells me to use it at that time. He may tell me to do something different with it. He may tell me to grab a bucket, that bucket and just throw it on somebody, <laughs> especially if they're demon-possessed. I remember my mentor, Reverend Pepe Materia, blessed memory, had said um, there was a, a pastor in Africa, and he was in a small village, you know, out in the jungle, and he was baptizing people in the river there. And all of a sudden, the witch doctor came down out of the hills. And it said the witch doctor was naked. And, and he says, when witch doctors get naked, that means they really want to do mm. some, some harm to people, put curses on them and things. And people are afraid of the witch doctor. And so he's down there. He's in the river trying to baptize people. And the people just scatter and run because they see the witch doctor coming. And they're just frightened. Okay. And so the pastor, he said, oh, Lord, what do you want me to do? And so the Holy Spirit said, baptize him. Mm -hmm. So when the witch doctor got close enough, he jumped up and grabbed him and, you know, ducked him in, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bam! And when the witch doctor came up out the water, the witch doctor was saved and started living his life for God. So whatever, you know, That's amazing. whatever the Lord says to do with this water is what I'm going to do. But typically, folks just get you know, a little shocked with that sprinkling, and I use it to cleanse my hands and my feet. I particularly like to, to do that with my hands before I serve communion. I like to do that type of a, of a cleansing, okay? But what I do, I, I pray over it first. So this that was how to use. This is how I have... Uh, been told by the Holy Spirit to create it. And it's always evolving as more and more scriptures come to my mind on this subject. I use them. Uh, but I start off by saying, Dear Heavenly Father, Abba Yahweh, Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, come down in power upon the holy water. Let your Ruach HaKadosh move upon the face of these holy waters just as it moved upon the face of the holy waters at the beginning of time, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. For you have said in your word that you have founded the world upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Let us be firmly established and founded in you by reason of our anointing of ourselves with this holy water. Let us be firmly established and founded in you, Lord. And let this holy water do for us what it did for Father Noah and his family. For your word says that eight souls were saved by water. And that same water that saved Noah and his family and delivered them to a new beginning in you also destroyed all evil surrounding them. Let this holy water deliver us to a new beginning in you. Yeah. Yeah. But destroy all evil around us and in us, Lord. Yeah. Let this holy water do for us what it did for our forefathers at the edge of the Red Sea. Let it, let it make a way out of no way for us to cross over on dry land. But let that same water that makes a way for us to escape our present day Egypt and Pharaohs, let it destroy all evil pursuing us. Just as it destroyed Pharaoh and his chariots, and his horsemen, and foot soldiers. Do that for us today, Lord, by virtue and reasoning of our anointing ourselves with this holy water, Father. Let it do for us, Father, 
what it did for our forefathers at the banks of the River Jordan. Let anything standing in our way be rolled back and we go over on dry land yes. into the land of your promises and your will and your way for our life. A land flowing with milk and honey. The land of Cana. Yes. Do that for us today, Lord. Roll back the obstacles, Lord. Roll back obstacles to our prosperity, to our health, yes. and to our peace, Lord, by virtue of this holy water, Father. And Lord, let it do for us what it did for Naaman, captain of the Assyrian hosts, when he dipped himself seven times in obedience to your command in the River Jordan, and he was cleansed of his leprosy. Let this holy water cleanse us of all defilement. Thank you, Lord. All defilement in our minds yeah. and hearts and spirit, as well as any of our bodies, Lord. Let it heal us, Father. Let it cleanse us of any leprosy, spiritual, mental, emotional, or spiritual, or physical, Lord. Amen. And finally, Father, let this holy water do for us what it did for you, Adonai. When Yochanan, your cousin, performed your mikvah in the midst of the River Jordan, and straightway when you came up out of the water, the Ruach Hokedesh descended upon you like a dove, and the voice of the Father was heard, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Amen. Do that for us, Lord. Let your Ruach HaKodesh descend upon us like a dove. Let us hear your voice from heaven saying, we are your beloved children in whom you are well pleased. Yes, Abba. Hear us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Vishim Yeshua. Amen. And then once I say that, I let it fly. Boom, boom, boom. You know, anything that I buy and bring in this house, I anointed with this water that has been prayed over like this. Okay, I cleanse everything that we bring in here. Just don't bring anything in in here and sit down, buy a new car, bam. Mm -hmm. We hit it with the water. We also do the oil, but I'll talk about the oil tomorrow. Well, that's it for today. Um, practice that. You know, okay. do your warfare prayers. Get ahead of the enemy. You know, be proactive. This is your time to be proactive and not reactive. Shalom. Shalom. Oh.